function of two variables and we're going to find what's called the total differential. So the total differential is given by the following formula. So dz is equal to uh, the derivative of this function with respect to x. So del z del x dx plus the derivative of this function with respect to y dy. So del z del y dy. So all we have to do to find the total differential in this problem is compute del z del x and compute del z, del z del y and then simply plug it into the formula. Very, very simple. So the hard part, I think, is going to be del z del x because we have here a function of x and we have here a function of x. So we actually have to use the product rule to do this derivative. So del z del x, well, the product rule says it's the derivative of the first piece. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So it'll be e to the x, y times the derivative of the inside. So we're taking the derivative of x, y with respect to x. So the derivative of x is 1, and the y hangs out, so we simply get y. So this is the derivative of the first piece times the second, using the product rule here, plus the first piece, so simply e to the x, y, times the derivative of the second piece, which is the cosine, right? The derivative of sine is cosine. Let me go over that again one more time, do that kind of fast. So we're taking the derivative of this function with respect to x. So we have a product of two functions, and they both have x's in them. So we do have to use the product rule. So the derivative of e to the x is simply e to the x. But here it's e to the x, y, so we have to use the chain rule. So it's the derivative of the outside evaluated at the inside. So it's just e to the x, y times the derivative of the inside. Well, the inside function is x, y, and the derivative of x is 1. So you get 1 times y, which is y. That's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. The next derivative should be easy, so let's, let's check it out, del z del y. So in this case, we're taking the derivative with respect to y. Well, sine x is a function of x, so we treat it as a constant. Here we do have a function of y, though, so we don't have to use the product rule this time, right? Because this, this doesn't have a y in it. So it hangs out. The derivative of e to the x, y is simply e to the x, y times the derivative of the inside. We're taking the derivative of x, y with respect to y. The derivative of y is 1. So here we get x times 1, which is simply x. And here the sine x hangs out. And now we're ready to write down the final answer. So the final answer is dz. And it looks like it's del z del x, so it's all of this stuff. I'll write it down here quickly. So this is, um, I'll, just, I'll write it just like it's written there. e to the x, y times y. If you put the y in the front, it's a little bit better, but who cares? <laughs> Plus, e to, it's not wrong. e to the x, y, cosine x. And this is dx. Plus, so that's del z del x, right? That's what we have here, and that's dx plus, and then del z del y. Well, that's this piece here. I'm gonna put the x in the front. That's just well, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. But you can put it in the front. <laughs> Times x sine x dy. So really, the only thing you could do here to make this a little bit better is maybe put the y here, maybe put the x here. So I hope that made some sense.